click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's video we are going to see how series negative clipper with negative bias works. So let's begin with the topic. We know that biasing is nothing but applying external supply voltage to the diode. Now in case of clipper, we can use external battery voltage for providing proper bias to the diode. As the name indicates, it's a series negative clipper. That means it clip off a negative half cycle of the input signal. Therefore, we will get only positive half cycle in the output waveform. But in this case, we are also biasing a negative clipper along with a negative battery. Let's see the diagram first. So this is the diagram of series negative clipper with negative bias. The diode is connected in half wave rectifier configuration and in series with the load resistance RL. Now here battery VB is connected in such a way that it provides a negative biasing to the diode D. That means negative terminal of battery is connected to the end terminal of diode and positive terminal of battery is connected to the P terminal of diode. So let's see what will happen during positive half cycle of AC input signal. So during positive half cycle of AC input signal, terminal A becomes positive and terminal B becomes negative. That means P side is connected to the positive terminal of AC input signal and N side is connected to the negative terminal of AC input signal. So this makes the diode forward bias. Let's see what will happen during positive half cycle of AC input signal. In this cycle, P side of diode is connected to the positive terminal A and N side of diode is connected to the negative terminal of A. That means the input voltage makes the diode forward bias. Now during positive half cycle of AC input signal, terminal A becomes positive and terminal B becomes negative. As terminal A is connected to the P side of diode and terminal B is connected to the N side of diode, therefore the input voltage VI makes the diode forward bias. Battery is connected in such a way that negative terminal of battery is connected to N side and positive terminal of battery is connected to P side. Therefore, battery also makes diode as a forward bias diode. Therefore, in positive half cycle, irrespective of whether the input voltage is greater than or less than battery, the diode remain in the forward bias condition. Therefore, it acts as a closed switch and whatever voltage appears at the input, the same voltage appears at the output. So the output waveform becomes So during positive half cycle of input signal, the same voltage that is Vm appears at the load output Rn. Now let's see what will happen during negative half cycle of AC input signal. Now during negative half cycle of the AC input signal, terminal A becomes negative and terminal B becomes positive. Therefore, as terminal A is connected to the P side of diode and terminal B is connected to the N side of diode, it makes the diode reverse bias. 
whereas battery VB is connected in such a way that N terminal of diode D is connected to the negative terminal and P terminal of diode D is connected to the positive terminal. Therefore, the battery makes the diode in forward bias condition. So let's see what will happen in negative half cycle. During negative half cycle of AC input signal, when input voltage is less than battery voltage, what will happen? Let's see. When VI is less than VB, that means VB is dominating one. Therefore, it makes the diode forward bias, diode acts as a closed switch and some signal appears at the output even during the negative half cycle. So, the output becomes, this amount of signal appears at the output when input is less than battery voltage. Now, when input voltage is greater than battery voltage, as the input voltage is dominating one, therefore, it makes the diode reverse bias, diode acts as an open switch and no signal appears across the output. Therefore, the output waveform becomes, in this duration, no signal appears across the output. Again, when input is less than battery voltage, diode becomes forward bias, it acts as a closed switch and output appears across the load resistance RL. That means if we see the waveform properly, in this waveform, some part of the negative half cycle also appears in the output, but with the clip off portion. That means some part is get removed from the complete half cycle and only small portion of negative half cycle appears across the output. So this is how the negative clipper with negative bias is work. If we see the complete waveform properly, then we will come to know that in case of series negative clipper with negative bias, a complete positive half cycle along with some part of negative half cycle appears in the output waveform. So this is how a series negative clipper with negative bias works. I hope you understand this video. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.